Good morning, fellas. It is day two of the Flyways Collective, and I found a puppy. Ain't that right, Georgie? <laughs> Elliot and I are hunting today. Elliot's from Freelance Duck Hunting, and we're taking a bit of a haul out to Cheyenne Bottoms. Um, I don't know how it's going to go. We've heard mixed reviews on it right now, and we couldn't really find anything that looked super promising here. So we're just kind of going for the experience today. Go lay out, hunt the bottoms, and uh, enjoy it. So if we shoot some birds, cool. If we don't, that's fine. I'd really like to shoot birds so I can make a video out of this. But um, we're going to take Ellie's big boat in there. We're going to unload the kayaks in the marsh and stash the boat. Big spread and trying to get the hide right. I've got a feeling we'll at least shoot a few birds a piece, maybe one or two a piece. We'll set the expectations there, but if we shoot more than that, that'd be great. Um, I've always wanted to hunt the bottoms in December. I'm always out there like hunting it every now and then in the early season before like the rest of the state opens up. So we'll give this a go and see what it's like with mallards and pintails and spoonies everywhere. Ideally, they're everywhere, but um, I've heard that they're nocturnal right now, so it's kind of tough, but we'll give it a go. Chicken gray beard. I think that's, uh, we got a lot of driving ahead. We'll probably shoot some. Some. Sure. Maybe yeah. some coots. Uh -uh. Have you seen any coots for a while? I haven't. I haven't either. I'm excited. I, I haven't been out here in five years, so if we go out and shoot two or three each, I'll be perfectly happy. Well, I'm glad we have the same mindset, because that's what I said. <laughs> Bring on the spoonies. <laughs> I'll shoot anything that comes into the decoys today. I'm Mallard not hen, be pintail hen, yep. any kind of hen. Yeah. Spoonie hen. <laughs> merganser hen. I'll probably common not. merganser. I wouldn't shoot a common merganser. Yeah, I'm excited about it. When you said that, I was all for it, because I wasn't overly enthused about our other options. Nothing looks great. No, so... I was excited about this idea. Here we are. And there it is. No, I won't need those. Got the boat loaded down with the uh, Old Town top water, And then uh, Elliot's got his Discovery 119. We're going to hunt out of those today. But to get to this spot, we're taking Elliot's big boat. Not a lot of people out here today, so that's cool. Especially for a Saturday, and the season closes here tomorrow. Is so. that a good thing or a bad sign? <laughs> <laughs> it's either a good or a bad thing, but hey, we're here. We made it in like the perfect amount of time. Um, still dark out. I was thinking we were going to get here and the sun was like up, but we made it in good time, so we should be able to get to our spot pretty quick and uh, be set up fairly quick. So uh, we'll check in with you guys later.
Yeah. It's a good start. Well, we are set up. I just I just put my Tetras in and uh, I got brand new ones. Tetra is a uh, partner for the CoLab this year and uh, they hooked me up with the Alpha Shield 90 series. I was using the 60s. I'm using the 90s now and uh, I'm really enjoying them. So Elliot just parked the boat. We got ducks working. We had one group kind of working through. So it's time to get buttoned up. Ducks are flying. Shining bottoms. We got a massive spread. I've got a good feeling, man. I got a real good feeling. Plus, hold on. Turn you down a little bit. That's what it really looks like. That sunrise. It's awesome. So, saw a lot of birds getting kicked up while we were driving the boat in here. I've got a good feeling. But we got the kayak tucked in the cattails and we're good to go we just made an adjustment um, we were set up over there and we're trying to figure out the flight line of these birds I think I got a decent idea they've been off to our right side this whole time so we moved over to the right we're in a bigger open area so we got less decoys more open area We'll see what happens. Sometimes less is more out here, so we still got our decoys back there if that wants to help us out any. But I think moving out in the open might get us some attention. Elliot, look behind us. You see that big group? There's one love coming in. Group of them, right in front. Ready? Ready? Shoot him. Ah, damn it. Woo! Ha ha ha! Pins are hard to identify with the white. I think it's a bluebill. Maybe. Yeah. Good thing we only shot one a piece. Yeah. A little sweet. I'm surprised we both killed one. Those weren't easy shots. No. It finally happened. Hey, there's two out front. The kill. ducks are on the move. Kill. 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 We just uh, got a couple bluebills, one a piece, and uh, the the ducks have the movements picked up for sure. So it's definitely good to see. I mean, it's like almost 10 o'clock. You want to talk about a pick-me-up? Yeah. That's a pick-me-up. Yeah. And we took care of business. Yeah. Those so, were not easy shots. That wasn't. They were moving at about 35 yards. Yep. I missed my first shot. I only shot once. I was too excited. I didn't even aim <laughs> on my first <laughs> shot. I just pulled up and was ready? looking at a duck. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, I guess that's how it goes. But oh, cool. hey, on the board, 
shook that skunk off. Yeah. I think we're gonna see some more flying, but I probably just jinxed us. We've seen more movement in the last five minutes than we've seen all day. That's true. We have seen more movement in the past five minutes than we've seen all day. There's a group out front, so I'm gonna put the camera down. We're gonna hunt. <laughs> Oh, two cupping in right in front. Pennies. Oh, oh. smoked him, baby. Oh my gosh. You gotta stay on him. Oh, Jordan's gonna be so mad. Did you see him flare? Yeah. All you 20 gauge haters out there, eat your heart out. <laughs> Pintail Drake, I think it's a juvie. There's really no sprig on them. They're just little tiny guys. It was, uh, they flared big time. Big time flare. So, shootable shot, took it. And, uh, now we're up to three. So I'm hoping for some midday mallards uh, moving through here. That'd be nice, but I think some boats were running through the marsh and kicked up a whole bunch of birds. And that is why you stay out later than everybody else. A little, little tip for you guys, but pretty successful hunt now. I'd consider this a success considering we've had people in three zones of the state hunting and up until probably half an hour ago, Nobody fired a shot except for, I don't know, somebody shot a hooded merganser, I think, but it feels good to find some success for sure. Well, boys, we just got back uh, a while ago. We just filmed a podcast, did an Instagram Live. Elliot and I did some scouting, didn't see much of anything, but tomorrow we've got a goose shoot lined up. What's up, boys? What's up? What's up? Thomas, Virginia Outdoors Unlimited. Titus, Spoonie Slayer. <laughs> California he should have the Spoonies, bro, hats. I know. You saw that idea. Oh, 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 oh. They're watching they're watching the football game over there, but not a bad shoot today. Um, just for winging it. it the, the birds everywhere. It, it's just it's been tough. It's been really, really tough the past few days. We've had total for the group over the past two days, six hunts. Four of them have been donuts. Skunks. Except for like maybe you shot redhead two days ago. One. I think Nobody else shot any birds today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been tough. It's been really tough. So make sure to check out everybody's channels. These two, yeah, who's Jordan Freeland, or Jordan from uh, Duck Hunt Chronicles, Elliot Freelance Duck Hunting, and Matt from High Prairie Sportsman. Check them out. And if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I'm getting ahead of myself here. And uh, I think we're going to wrap this one up here, and I will catch you guys on the next one.